Dispel? I have no mana. There we go. Todd? Oh my god. I cannot... I cannot believe we just timed that key. A 21 Temple of the Jade Serpent. Listen to me. I have never had so little fun healing a dungeon than this dungeon right here. Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am bringing you a plus 21 Jade Serpent with 30 seconds left. These affixes this week are brutal. It is bursting, grievous, tyrannical, and it does not feel good at all. It was brutal, but we did we did pretty well. So overall, my damage breakdown was 21 million damage. And uh, not bad. Again, Rising Sun Kick, Spinning Crane Kick, going to be your top damage dealer just because that's kind of where most of your damage comes from. Got a 92k crit, by the way, which is insane. Blackout Kick, of course, with the AOE damage is going to be really good for resetting Rising Sun Kicks and really good for just, you know, sustained damage. As far as healing goes... Most of the healing comes from ancient teachings. I did use a lot of vivifies as well with the instant vivify, trying to do that uh, as much as I can. And then enveloping mist. I did use this a little bit more than I should. I feel like there were just some times, like especially during the last boss fight, where I just felt like I need to get an enveloping mist out. But yeah, that is my damage and healing rotation. My talents are right here. So these are my talents. Uh, nothing, I don't think anything too crazy. Nothing changes really going from dungeon to dungeon. Um, I think it's a pretty solid talent build. Uh, if you have any suggestions for talents you want to see, like pl please let me know. I'm more than happy to, you know, to to try anything out. Seriously. And that is pretty much it. Hope everyone has a fantastic first day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later. Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is a 21 <laughs> Jade Serpent. I think. What have I done? I've done uh, 16. <laughs> I've done this on 16. Um, we're a fist beam, of course. You know, you know, we're fist beam, of course. Um, easily the most fun. These affixes this week, by the way, are absolute killers, and I hate my life. Um, so it's grievous and what bursting or whatever. So, yeah, not having a whole lot of fun. I'm throwing a mist on the tank, though. Gonna try to use expel harm here and then kick that. Maybe a little Todd here. I got it clear as well. Basically, we're. we're the only thing we're doing all dungeon is healing. That's, that's, I mean, they're like, whew. can't have too many big pulls either, but yeah, it's going to be, a, it's going to be a tough dungeon. I'm not going to lie. Maybe it's not, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just a hard to heal, but maybe it's like overall fine. Uh, you can LOS by the way, this cast, the ripple. Um, so keep that in mind. If you're, you know, still trying to learn the key or whatever, uh, you can absolutely just line it. it makes it a lot easier it's obviously easier if you have range dps as well uh, we have pretty much two three range dps obviously the warrior is going to struggle but the good thing is if the warrior is you know the only one that's taking it like getting hit i can i'm just gonna i think i'm gonna just cheat you here and crank some healing i'll revival everything oh my lord but yeah yeah it, you you could just dispel the warrior and or whatever your melee is and then just kind of crank um, but besides that, yeah, we're going to just do our best here. There's really all, nothing else we can do, you know? Uh, I'm going to use a little Shaylin's Gift here. Nice, nice little manatee here as well. Um, but yeah, this is our second 20. Uh, no, this is our third. We, I didn't record a 20 Academy. I, d I did a 20 Academy and uh, did not record. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm going to keep it real. No faith. I didn't, I didn't have any faith. Cocoon. Couldn't get the cocoon. Spell. Um, I'm stuck in the wall. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Good. Um, I didn't have faith that we were going to time it. If I'm going to be honest with you. So kick that. So, uh, right now I'm just trying to spin to win. Uh, there's really nothing else to it. I can rob that title burst. I think we got a nice kick on it though. Dodge this. Uh, I'll throw an envelopment on the warrior. Cause he's probably gonna take some damage here. Uh, title burst. I can kick nice blind from the DK. Spell here. Little health stone as well. Throwing a vault mist on myself. And we should be okay, I think. I can also a little failing stomp here. Fade line stomp here. But yeah, healing right now, uh, like this week, is is not not the most fun. It is challenging though, which I do enjoy. I do enjoy a challenge. So um like imagine if we do like time this key, that'd be crazy. Um dispel. We cleared already, so I'm gonna go for a drink. It is tyrannical week as well, so this is going to kind of slow us down. But I'm going to get some mana. This boss isn't too bad. It's got like two or three mechanics. I'm good. Put some renewing mist out. Probably throw one out on the tank as well. Ain't a fun week. So fun. So fun. Someone in my group was like, isn't that a great week for healing? 
I am literally having the most fun I've ever had. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to put my port down and I'll show you something you can do with your port on this boss, which I'm sure everybody knows, but in case you don't know, um, but I'll try to go over the mechanics as much as I can. Hydro Lynch, you want to kick that as much as you can. I already kicked it. I'm going to throw an Envelope Mist here. Wash away. You want It's a frontal. You kind of want to avoid it as much as you can. Every third pulse is going to be big damage. Boom. Oh. I don't know how to count. I don't know how to count. So, port. Oh, oh my God. Imagine. Whew, that would have been a little awkward there. All right. I'm not going in until I see the third. All right. We're chilling. Oh my God. Kick that. I still have Chigi here. I think I might just send it. Yeah. Good. Okay. Should be fine. Big damage. Throw envelop mist. I'll just cocoon. I don't want him to die. Avoid. Be healing. Wash away. Nice. We're cleared. Avoid. Nice. Every third pulse, the uh, thing goes off. You can also port this as well. So as long as long as you, it's already past your port, you just you can just port it and you should be fine. Nice. The warrior kick there. I was going to kick, but I wasn't sure. Okay, good. Good. Nice. We have another kick there. Throwing a vote mist out. Keep extending it with your rising mist here. I'll kick the next one instantly. Instantly. Don't even worry about it. Those PvP instincts coming in hot. Big healing here. I actually, I'm just going to throw a little Shaylin's Gift out and get a buff, right? I mean, it's tyrannical week, so. All right, wash away again. Uh, we don't have port for this one, so. Nice. I'm going to use my on use as well. Dude, how do I die again to this? How, how do I die again to this dumb mechanic? I'm so bad. I am so bad. I don't know how hard this dungeon is depending on the heroic... Ugh. I don't know how hard this dungeon is depending on if it's fort or tyrannical. I feel like this dungeon goes a lot faster when it's tyrannical just because this place is like mostly trash, man. Like it's just so much trash between each boss. I'll dispel that. Even though it's not fortified weak, you still want to probably dispel the dot. You could diffuse magic that back, so you need to worry about it. And then you just kind of crank damage here. I'll probably just rising sun kick and I'll weave in rising sun kicks in between spinning crane kicks. Um, you want to focus the Haunting Shaw because it, he does do a, um, what's it called, an, a fear. So you can kick it, so that's good. Don't vote miss. I don't actually have to spell for my tank right now. I can't 2-1. Dispel now. All right, we're chilling. And we're just going to do damage here. Nice. A lot of damage. There's the AOE. Nice kick. Dispel myself. Oh, there's another one. I'm just going to cocoon and just crank. Dispel myself. Nice. I do have revival, but I feel like we should be able. Oh, we should be fine. I think. Essence font here. I feel like I need to cheat you though, because bursting kind of hurts. I'm gonna kick that. Do damage. Spin. Should be able to get an uh, envelope mist here. We do. Should be able to get another envelope mist here. I do. Can we get one more? I don't think we can get one more. Sweep everything. Nah, I can't get one more, which is kind of unfortunate. A uh, nice kick on that. I probably should look for a drink kind of soonish, but mana really isn't too bad right now, and there really isn't a whole lot of damage coming out of these packs. Um, I'll probably just dispel my bursting and go for a quick drink here. Should be okay. Mm. I don't know if we're going to be okay. We actually have a pretty big pull here, so I can just spin here. And again, weave in rising sun kicks when you can. I'll throw an Envelope Mist on the tank, too, just in case he's taking damage. But that's pretty much what I do with these big pulls. And I don't know if it's the most efficient. Throwing a Blackout Kick if you feel like you, you, you know, you're know you in your Fey Line Stomp and you can. Um, I'll, um, I'll also go for a Shaylin's Gift. Nice, nice. Oh, I have the wrong action bar. Every single time, man. Every time I use the wrong action bar. And I get so confused why I'm the only one with, like, <laughs> renewing mist on me. Taunt that. I'm going to dispel and drink real quick. I'm just trying to get quick sips in between each pull. Pretty much. Nothing nothing too crazy. 25% mana should be more than enough to, like, get through a pull. So, should be fine. Uh, I could sweep whatever is casting and just do damage. Um, avoid the stuff on the ground as well. There should be something we kick, too. It's not the golden barrier. I thought there was something else that we can kick here. But maybe, yeah, the fit of rage. Good. Good, nice. 
avoid the stuff on the ground. I'm going to throw an Invoke Mist on my Warlock. Maybe an Essence Font. Get double hots on everybody, maybe. Eh, probably don't have to. Probably just do damage here. Kick that. Nice. Warrior got it. Nice. Got the grip on the catnap. Grip? Or a leap? I think it was a leap. Damage. Do damage. Do damage. Nice. All right. Cool. Dispel. Um... I'm gonna try to get some, there's some like a little bit of RP here. So I'm just gonna try to help my team recover super quick. And then I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna shout them out drink here. Cause for some reason I'm still, I think it keeps you in combat. Seven stacks, what they're saying about seven stacks is it's like the primary boss mechanic is when you do damage to it, they get stacks or they gain stacks. Um, no, I'm pretty sure when you do damage, they gain stacks. And at 10, they, or seven or 10, they become immune. I think it's seven. So you just swap between stacks and hopefully, uh, you basically you don't want to a you don't want to a re damage you just want a single target. Um, I put my failing stomp straight ahead so nothing hits the uh, other one, and then you just do damage uh, single target. Machiji here. I'm gonna throw an envelop mist on this warrior just because he's kind of taking it right now. But we should be okay, I think. Yeah. Failing stomp here. I'm gonna use my on use too and just oh my god 92k crit what the hell is going on all right swapping back big damage big damage fail lane stomp big damage these buffs are these uh debuffs are freaking me out though i'm gonna keep it real like i'm gonna do this boom all right we got bonus healing here which is really good for us Whenever I see like the Grievous or whatever, and the it just freaks me out. Nice, we're kind of cranking the boss though. Oh wait, do we not swap? No, we just swap. Yeah, I see someone hitting that thing though. It's gonna revival everything. Throwing about mist on the tank. Swap mech over. Nice. I'm a Chigi here. Oh, we should have like a ton of about mist here. Yeah, there's one. I should be able to get another. Yep, I can get one more. Actually, I should be able to get more than that. Nah, we got swap now. Failing stomp. Maybe a bad global could have gotten belt mist. I'll go for a uh, Shailun's gift here. The healing. Manatee as well. Throwing belt mist on the mage because he has the debuff. We should be getting this guy's max stack soon. Should be swapping soon. We are. No. Probably needs ice block. All right, failing stomp here, big damage, big damage, big healing. I might need to go for a uh, four stack Shaylin's gift as well. Oh my god, he's got eighteen stacks of that, so uh, probably should maybe you know, take some heat. There we go. Okay, there he goes. Down he goes. All right, that's all right. That's all right. That was. A really hard boss to heal. Holy cow. That was like the least amount of fun. But we're doing pretty good, I would say. Um, these, my, these I hate these apexes. Oh, holy cow. This is terrible. I don't know who made the, I don't know who made the combination of, I don't know whose job it is, but I can tell you something. They don't play a healer. I can tell you that. I'm going to just uh, kind of crank right now. I'm going to use on use. I, I got a new trinket. I did get a new trinket. I got the Horn of Valor. Uh, Horn of Valor? I think that's what it's called. From the Halls of Valor. It it might not be the best trinket, but it definitely replaced like <laughs> one of the bad ones I had before. So I guess I'll take it. I mean, it, it was an upgrade. So, I mean, I can't complain. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm trying to make... I, I need to do the new raid, Cocoon there, um, to get the new trink to get the trinkets from there. And then hopefully that'll kind of help out just a little bit. Big damage here. Also, something maybe I didn't mention is my entire rotation is in the bottom right here. So if you find yourself not knowing what I'm pressing or something, um, just let me know. And the rotation's like all right there. Uh, I'm going to drink. I'm going to drink. I don't know if we're going to do a big, big pool or not, but um, I think like 20% should be okay. Go. Should be good. Yeah, be healing, be healing. Um, maybe these mobs don't even do that much. Um, uh, I got throwing bonus on the warrior. I was gonna say maybe these mobs don't even do too much, but they probably do. 
It's a 21, right? It does a lot of damage. So I'm so sad that I uh, don't be healing. Nice frenzy regen. I'm so sad that I uh, died on the first boss like two times. Ooh, we got healing here. So that's kind of good. That's that's pretty good. I can rob that leg sweep. Um, maybe you should be able to keep my warrior alive. Yeah. I'm hoping. Oh, we're safe. Okay, cool. Perfect. Don't have Todd for this. That's okay. Dispel my bursting and uh, drink. Because, damn, you know, everything's hitting hard, man. Everything's hitting hard. Throwing a mist on the tank here. Yeah, this pull's pretty annoying, but we should be okay. Just going to start. Oh, we pulled extra, which is always magnificent. But we got a lot of healing here. We, we do have quite a bit of healing. So we can just failing stomp, failing line stomp. And uh, nice kick on that. I can sweep everything as well. Don't stand in front. Manatee as well. Healing elixir. Let's rally for my warrior. Do damage here. I feel like I uh, health zone is like unutilized sometimes. Sometimes I'll just check healing breakdowns and I don't see it. Like some people use it, but it's so good. And it looks like my warlock is running the talent where they also get healed. Oh, I see. I think I need to release. That sucks. That was slow down. Summon stone. Oh, he's summoning me. God damn. God, big brain. Let's get it. Saving a lot of time here. I'm going to drink then. If he's going to summon me, I'm going to drink. Nice. Okay. Should be chilling. All right. Throwing a vote miss on the tank. Boom. Fainline stomp. Sweep everything. And let's just crank. Just again. Uh, this is a pretty big pull. You can't see it, but there's actually a lot of nameplates here. I just don't have them enabled, but there's a lot of little uh, little mobs, and you could just spin or blackout kick. Both work. Uh, both are really good. Um, yeah. This next boss is probably definitely my least favorite boss to heal. I'm gonna shout him out. Drink here. Okay, manatee here and feline stomp. Big damage, big healing, big damage, big healing. Health, uh, I didn't health stone, but oh, we're going for another big pull. All right. We are going to use our Shaloon's gift and just crank. Feline stomp, spin to win. I have leg sweep hella soon. Uh, I'll probably use on use here and let's just do a ton of healing. Sweep. Drop that. Nice. Good. Good. I'm just going to cocoon the tank. Kick that. Okay. I'm going to dispel my bursting stacks and then drink. There is a little bit of RP. So I should have time to like get to a decent amount of mana before we pull. Or not. All right. Thought the RP was longer. This boss. I hate this boss. Listen to me. I hate this boss so much. Okay. You listen. But we're going to do our best. That's all we're going to do. Um, Green phase lost. Okay. All right, we got mana. Um, gonna throw an Envelop Mist on the tank. And again, we're just gonna hope for the best. We're, I hate this boss so much. It's so it's so hard to heal. Serpent uh, Strike, Serpent Kick, avoid the circle, avoid the fire. That's it. That's, that's that. I mean, that's pretty much the mechanic. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but there is a pretty big absorption that happens fairly soon. So Serpent Kick, Dispel the Dot. Don't stand the fire. Dodge the fire. We didn't dodge the fire. Hopefully we have a B res. Nice. It's hard. I mean, it happens fast for sure. You know? Um, very hard to react. Serpent kick. Dispel. Avoid the fire. Like, especially for melee. Like, I actually feel pretty bad for melee. Now we got some storming going on. Serpent kick, dispel. Throw an envelope mist out. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to just clear right now. going to be honest. Uh, I got to do some damage too. I got I to start doing All right, void. Again. 
Throwing about missed out. And we're going to do damage here. Boom. 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 Oh my god, we're cranking right now. All right, we're going to GG here as well. And we're going to throw an Evolve Mist out. And we're going to avoid the green. Again, it's just the same as the red. Playing a little safe right now. Actually, probably playing a little bit too safe. I, I, I'm not doing as much damage as I could. Uh, mostly because I'm scared. I'm going to keep it real. I'm fucking terrified of this boss. Avoid the green. No, we did not avoid the green. Maybe we have another B-Raz. Maybe not. I don't know. Probably not. Um, I think we transition at 25. Nope, 29. All right. I do have a Shaylin's Gift as well. Uh, this phase isn't actually too bad. So just don't stand in front of the boss. That's pretty much it. That's just don't stand in front. Should be fine. It's those other parts of the, of the freaking boss fight, man, that freaking freak me out, I swear. Don't stand in front. Do damage. I'll clear. Boom. Do Chiji here. Felt mist here. Another felt mist here. All right, this is the easier part of the fight. It's not first. It's like the first two thirds of this fight, man. They <laughs> they freak me out. It's there's nothing wrong with playing safe either. I, I shouldn't have played it as safe, but I think I played it too safe. But you know, it is what it is. My bad. I could I could have done more damage. What I did two million damage on this fight. Probably could have done more. Um, I don't know if that would have had an impact. I think staying alive is more important than doing damage, I guess, as a healer. Like, for, for a healer. You know, obviously, if you're DPSing, you probably want to uh, <laughs> prioritize doing damage. But I, I think if you're a healer, I think you could prioritize just keeping your team alive, you know? Um, we, have, we have nine minutes. We have about nine minutes to try to time this key. It's going to be close, for sure. The last boss ain't easy at all. So, we will see how it goes. <laughs> We're going to see how it goes. You know, if you're seeing this now, I timed it. If you're not seeing this, then you would have never known. Oh, okay. All right. Don't know what hit me there, but all right. I don't know if that was a tidal burst, because I'm pretty sure that's damage. That's AOE damage. Maybe a Hydro Lance went out? Hmm. Be healing here. Throwing a Velt Mist out. Throwing a Velt Mist here, too. Throw an instant vivify and let's just crank kick that. Maybe it was a, maybe it was a rogue hydro lance or something. Kick that. I don't know. Todd. Okay. Spell. Good. GG here. Thunder focus the envelopment mist here. Sweep everything. Get some blackout kicks going so I get instant envelopment mist here. I can wrap this next one. Nice storm bolt from the warrior. Waiting to see if anybody gets hit by mechanics. Um to do like to put an envelope mist on, but I don't see anybody. So it looks like my warlock and mage have it. I'm gonna clear with my warlock. Dodge the leg sweep. Big damage, big damage. Yep, yep, yep. Good, 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 perfect, good. Spell Bursting, we're going to drink a little. I have all my cooldowns for this pull, too. Every single one. So, I'm just going to Cocoon. We're, like, not even, like, CCing or nothing, huh? We're just going in. Kind of dry. A little scary. Don't stand in front. Always want to prioritize the uh, the guy that... The Haunting Shaw, because he's the one that does the dumb AoE fear. So, I'm going to use my Horn of Valor. <laughs> Alright, I know Warlock. Okay. Each time. All right, we got five minutes to time this. Okay. All right, I guess my Warlock can dispel, which is pretty sick. Um, so this is the final boss, I guess. This is it, right here. Throwing a Velt Mist on the tank. All right, dispel. Got him. Nice. Oh. Okay. Hopefully we have B-Res. All right. GG here. Don't miss on my, my mage because I'm a little scared for him. Sweep everything. Okay. Spin. Do damage. All right. Just got to do that a few more times. We should be chilling. Spell. 
Aruda. On use here. Throwing Vel Mist on my mage. Oh, I got you, warrior. I got you, buddy. Don't you die. There we go. Oof. There we go. Spell the mage. Spell mist here. Or uh, renewing mist. Oh, vivify. Oh my god. Stroking out here. Doing damage. Renewing mist. I get Chigi here. Oh, okay. He blocked. Okay. Okay, we have a uh, leg sweep for these mobs. Gonna cut it out. Rot my way. Throwing about mist on my mage because he doesn't have ice block anymore, so I'm a little scared for him. Uh, use health stone there to heal my warlock and myself. Do damage here. Do damage. Beautiful. Dispel. Big damage. I'm gonna throw a shield and skipped out. We got healing, which is good. Bonus healing. I'm going to throw an Envelope Mist out here too, just because uh, I have mana tee up right now. Dispel. Alter time. We have Chigi too. Let's just press it. Yeah. Throw an Envelope Mist on me. I'll probably throw another one on the mage. Throw it again on the mage. Keep extending it. Shailun's gift. Spell. Nice. Okay. Did we miss? We, I think if we just live this, we win. No joke. Sweep. Nice wolf. My Warlock. Throw an Envelope Mist out. Spin a win here. I'm going to dampen harm this. Just keep spinning. Just keep spinning. Rop. Probably should clear. All right, we cleared. Spell. I'm just going to revival. Yep. Oh, my lord. I have like... I'm going to Shailun's Gift here. Nice. We got crit. Oh, we have damage. We got damage means we got healing. Spell. Horn of Valor. GG as well. No, I got a, I got a, Shailun, I got a thing here. GG here. Velt Mist on myself. Manatee here. Throwing Velt Mist on my warrior. Dispel. Velt Mist. Oh no, we might not time now. Diffuse Magic here. Sweep everything. Alright, we live this, we win. We live this, we win. I'm going to cocoon my warlock. I have no mana. Absolutely no mana. Shailun's gift? Oh. Dispel? I have no mana. There we go. Todd? Oh my god. I cannot. I cannot believe we just timed that key. A 21 Temple of the Jade Serpent. Listen to me. I have never had so little fun healing a dungeon than this dungeon right here.